Welcome back, today we are here to give out some easy steps to collect data. Without any delay comes let's dive into the topic. A systematic procedure of obtaining observations or measurements is known as data collection. Data collecting allows you to get first-hand expertise and unique insights into your study challenge, whether you're conducting research for industry, government, or academia. While methods and goals may vary per field, the overall data collection procedure is largely the same. You should think about the following things before you start collecting data, the goal of research the type of information you'll gather the techniques and methods you'll employ to acquire, store, and process data. Follow these four steps to obtain high-quality data that is relevant to your goals. Step 1, Define Your Research's Goal Before you begin the data collection process, you must first determine exactly what you want to accomplish. Begin by formulating a problem statement, what is the practical or scientific issue you want to address, and why is it important. Then, come up with one or more research questions that clearly state what you want to learn. You may need to collect quantitative or qualitative data, depending on your study questions, quantitative data is represented by numbers and graphs, and statistical procedures are used to examine it. Words are used to express qualitative data, which is then examined using interpretations and categorizations. Collect quantitative data if you want to test a theory, measure something exactly, or get large-scale statistical insights. Collect qualitative data if your goal is to explore concepts, analyze experiences, or obtain detailed insights into a specific setting. You can use a mixed method strategy to collect both sorts of data if you have multiple goals. Step 2, Decide on your data collection strategy. Decide which strategy is ideal for your research based on the data you wish to collect. Experimentation is essentially a quantitative approach to study. Qualitative approaches include interviews, focus groups, and ethnographies. Quantitative and qualitative methods include surveys, observations, archival research, and secondary data collection. Consider which approach you'll employ to collect data that will directly answer your research questions. Step 3, Create a Data Gathering Strategy When you've decided whatever method, S, to use, you'll need to figure out how you'll put them into action. What approaches will you use to make precise observations or measurements of the variables you're studying? If you're doing a survey or an interview, for example, decide on the format of the questions, if you're conducting an experiment, decide on the experimental design. Operationalization Some factors can be measured directly, such as the average age of employees, which can be obtained simply by asking for dates of birth. However, you'll frequently be interested in gathering information on more abstract notions or factors that can't be observed immediately. Turning abstract conceptual concepts into measurable observations is what operationalization entails. You must translate the conceptual description of what you wish to examine into the operational definition of what you will actually measure when determining how you will gather data. Sampling to collect data in a systematic manner, you may need to create a sample plan. This entails defining a population, or the group about which you wish to draw conclusions, as well as a sample, or the group from which you will collect data. How you recruit participants and collect measures for your study will be determined by your sampling strategy. You must consider elements such as the required sample size, sample accessibility, and data collecting period when choosing a sampling method. Procedures should be standardized if your study involves numerous researchers, provide a detailed manual to standardize data collection techniques. This entails laying down detailed step-by-step -step instructions so that everyone on your research team collects data in a similar manner for example, by conducting experiments under the same conditions and recording and categorizing findings using objective criteria. This ensures the consistency of your data and allows you to duplicate the study in the future. Making a data management strategy you should decide how you will organize and store your data before you start collecting data. If you're gathering data from people, you'll almost certainly need to anonymize and secure the data to prevent sensitive information from leaking out, e.g. names or identity numbers. To avoid distortion, 
if you collect data through interviews or pencil and paper formats, you'll need to execute transcriptions or data entry in a systematic manner. Data loss can be avoided by using a regularly backed up organization structure. Step 4, Gather Information Finally, you can put your methods to work measuring or observing the variables you're interested in. Here are some best practices for ensuring that high-quality data is recorded in a methodical manner, as soon as you get data, make a list of everything you need to know. For instance, keep track of when and how lab equipment is recalibrated during an experiment. Check for errors in manual data entry. You can examine the reliability and validity of quantitative data to gain an idea of its quality if you collect it. So these were the main steps of data collection. Hope this was an interesting video. Stay tuned to Research Graduate to get more such videos. Till then happy research. Also if you have any of the PhD and Masters related service requirements, head straight to our website www.researchgraduate.com see the description for more contact details.